Have you ever wondered how you can make some good passive income uh, with rental properties? Today, my friends, I bring you a very cool deal, which I think that anybody who is seasoned can jump on into this deal. Uh, I'm of the view that this is one of those patient deal. Uh, what is a patient deal? Uh, TJ, I don't know. I've never been here before. Well, welcome if we are seeing each other for the first time. On this channel, at the top of the hour, every Wednesday night, I bring you a deal. And uh, we call this a deal, but basically it's a property opportunity that you, my good friends, you can be able to buy. I am a property investor myself. I buy real estate uh, in different cities. And uh, with that, over the years, I have just been able to see many opportunities coming through my way. And I do know that some of you, yes, some of you, you run your own businesses and you run, you are in a job somewhere, so you don't see these opportunities. And I decided that every Wednesday, I would just come with an opportunity and you, my good friends, you, if you want it, you are good with the money, you can buy it. And I facilitate all of that for you. It's kind of like just bringing you a good deal. But anyway, let's go back to what is a patient deal. I say not patient for the one who is sick. I'm saying patience. So you need to have some patience on this deal, right? Okay, good stuff. So because it's a patience deal, um, it's one of those deals, I think that over a long period of time, year one, year two, it can give you some great returns, provided you're putting in some good money, provided you're working with the, with the town planners and the councillors in the area, provided you are adding value to the deal. I'm going to tell you the secret of the deal right at the end, or should I say before we finish off the, the video here. But I want to promise you, my good friends, that this is a good deal. That's number one. I have been doing what is called due diligence. Uh, some of you might not know what's a due diligence. So, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm already teaching you stuff here, right? I've taught you already what's a patient's deal. Uh, a patient's deal is a deal that you need to wait on for a long time. It gives you money, but it keeps on giving you, so you're improving it all the time. Uh, that's a deal that you just got to wait on, wait on, and uh, you are changing it. And then now we are talking about how best you can then extract it. How best you can extract it. So within this video, my good friends, today, I'm promising you that this is a good cash flow in deal. That's number one. Number two, I'm actually going to show you here the entire deal. I went onto this property and I've been doing what is called due diligence. Some of you are here for the first time and you're wondering what is due diligence. Let me fill you in. A couple of months, a good estate agent someone i've i've bought maybe about eight properties from him over the last couple of years and uh, we've just been doing deals together he gets some stuff he sends it to me and uh, over the years um we have become good friends and the connection that's how it is it has started off and now obviously when there's something that he thinks that is good for me he just sends it to me he says tj have the look i'm holding this for you and with that, I can now have the luxury of looking at this deal from multiple sides. So this is a development that went wrong. Now, before I fill you in, let us just go and watch what this property is. It's a beautiful property. The people that built this property, they threw everything, all the money that they had in this, in this property. It looks beautiful. Even though it is been vandalized, but it still looks beautiful. Let me not waste your time. Let's jump on onto the deal so that we can see what it looks like. And when I come back, I'm going to share, share with you the mechanics of how much it's going for. Uh, what are the possibilities? So here we go. All right, so this is a property. And it's got a courtyard a little bit. Yeah, people don't know what a courtyard is, but this is it. And I 
think this would have been probably the old garage but we can see here uh, they had something going on here okay and there's a chilling area you see there's a bright stand right there and this is just you know what's happening at the moment we can see the dilapidated there uh, but that can be sorted out very easy going in i don't know what this is guys there's lots of potential within this property um, but this is room one we're going to go in and coming to my right there's another room here and there we go and coming in here there's also another room here beautiful but in here there is also a bathroom room all sort well toilet and a sink there we go and coming back here and bingo we are going in there so this could easily be a shower because of what we have right here with some plumbing wet and as we go up there's another room here and there is a gate we're gonna call that gate number one there's also another gate and as we go here we're going upstairs and this is have had better days there we go right. this property here has got amazing amazing opportunities here check there okay and as we go in here another spacious 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 office or should i say room now there's the gate that we're looking at um the bit of a back on and we go in and as we're going in there's a toilet there and another toilet second one and shower double shower actually it's a bit of so many things that you can do here so this property was vandalized to so give you some indication when we talk about vandalization what does it mean some urinal there you can see all the plumbing wax is gone check all the plumbing wax is gone there's a shower in here you can see there okay nicely done okay the person has checked out here uh, where they have gone it doesn't matter what matters is this is an opportunity that is available and i am still upstairs right check outside there right we're going in there's another room beautiful okay and going in here there is another room ah guys come on and by the way i, I wonder whether these air cons are working but anyway uh whoever was going to put in the offer i might just put in an offer myself here i don't know there's another room here and it goes somewhere and we're going back um, there's something that's been happening on the roof you can see the bit of molds so with the property being empty for a long time these things will always happen so all kitchen electricals oof, they survived actually the oven and as we can see here the plumbing is also gone and as we're going up this is upstairs ah chandelier is missing there but there is what i'm talking about something happening on the roof but nothing that cannot be fixed nothing that cannot be fixed this year we're going to go downstairs but i'm not going to go downstairs now and we are going in onto this side of the section another room oh guys there's like plenty rooms in here plenty plenty rooms to a visionary someone else who can see some things you can be able to see another room here the reason why i didn't want to say that room one room two is you know me i can't count at some point i was going to lose the count and there's another room and there is another room with a walking cupboard there's a walking cupboard in here you can see it's dark 
the, all the cupboards have been taken out and uh, another room wall and this is sort of like a double room oh beautiful right beautiful and in here is a toilet with a shower there you go boom and there's your shower um, and this here goes out onto the patio and within the patio you can be chilling out and seeing what is happening outside beautiful in my view okay so we're going downstairs uh where's the downstairs where is the downstairs okay we are far away so now we're going back downstairs on the stairs and we're going to see the the space on the downstairs space on the downstairs going to my left is an open door which looks like a kitchen yep that's the same kitchen that we saw upstairs um so it's another kitchen here and we go through this side here this is now downstairs another room that we see here on my left i have long lost count now of the rooms here and another one very spacious one beautiful okay and then as we go out boom we are at the main door of coming out right before we go out there's also another space here there's a bathroom room here you can see there's no lights another bathroom room you can see there's no lights there's another door here where there's no lights and another room also here actually two of them there with their own cupboards and so on right we're going to go and we are back again now to where we started off and now we are outside and as we draw outside i'm just showing you what it looks like outside Okay, beautiful and it's got an upstairs we could see the upstairs from here all right I'm just gonna go at the back this is a beautiful property this is my friends uh, it's got a like a medieval look kind of like and there is going outside there and at the back I'm not just showing you the back of the property is beautiful and they had I was going to call this a chandelier, but it's not a chandelier, eh? It's, uh, what is this? I don't know, you know, you guys know it. I've forgotten what it's called. And as you go here, special space. And we're going in. This is in the heart of the town, my friends. Uh, there's plenty of things that we can do on this property. Uh, so, this here, oof, this tree here. You can see can you see that the tree the land is uh coming off it is definitely what's happening there on the tree so the tree is on the other side and as we go beautiful property beautiful property welcome back boom boom i'm hoping that you had a good time just having a look at that deal my good friends this deal is in an area which is not far away from midrand uh, some of you might not know where Midrand is, uh, in Johannesburg, uh, there's a city that's been booming off late and that area is called Midrand, it's between Johannesburg and Pretoria uh, and there is Midrand, and I think maybe that's why they call it Mid, Midrand, yeah, I don't know, I don't know why they call it Midrand, but it's not far away from Midrand, this place, and of late we've also been seeing a lot of government institutions coming in and around Midrand. So uh, the Department of Justice is there. Uh, you can Google for yourself to see. So basically this area is booming with middle class people. And for this reason, we can turn around at this particular building into smaller units, right? I said earlier on at the beginning, this was a development gone wrong. What happened? What was the problem? The problem is that this person went on to get the property uh, plans approved 
and they got it approved but however the way they approved these plans via the council um, it was for residential areas and later on the same person then started putting in offices in the area uh, and the councillors when they came in uh, the city council uh, came in they shut them down and they said look you can't operate offices here it's a residential area so they shut him down uh, and when they shut him down he then just left the property uh, redundant like that and uh, bingo you saw the vandalization there's no electricals in that property number one there is no some of the tapes you saw it's gone some of the basins are gone so there is a pro that's a big project for you to do the renovation what is the opportunity that i have been seeing on this and why am i bringing this to you firstly number one you can turn all of that property uh, into a multi-let property so basically you can have all of those rooms you can configure it differently and you can make it uh, self-contained units i spoke and i sat down with my architect and uh, we came up with around about 16 units that you can easily do it's the first option there's multiple ways to skin the deal here the first one is that you can do multi led 16 units you can be able to get away with the second one is that you can literally do two units as uh, big houses one at the bottom one at the top uh, you might have seen that in the video there's an entrance on one side of the building and another entrance on the other side of the building so you can cut your property into two uh, meaning upstairs is one uh, property downstairs is another property and the entrances are different that's what you can do or you can turn it into four units and cut the uh, the middle one at the top you have two units cut the one at the bottom you got two units and use the both of these entrances and you can have one unit one unit so there's multiple there's a big possibilities there's multiple ways in which you can be able to skin this cat now i am going in for the mountain because in this area there's quite a lot of people that stay there that are in the upper middle class uh, so obviously which means that rental within the lower uh, middle class is not there right uh, so that's where i'm seeing the opportunity in this 16 self-contained bachelors or one beds that's what i'm seeing as an opportunity you can create 16 of them that's what my architect has said that's what due diligence is all about i took my architect at the property for you and with that uh, he looked at the drawings the current drawings and we said this is what it's allowed but without saying this is what is allowed we also went to the council and we got to the council and we said look we know that this property this is what has been done we are buying this property but what is allowed from a town planning perspective the town planner then came back after consulting with the um, uh, 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 town councillors and then they gave us a direction in which we should follow and my good friends all of that we've now put it together and now we have an opportunity and that's my good friends is called due diligence it's been sitting on my desk for the last four months we've been consulting various people consulting consulting and now we've got uh, an opportunity so where do you fit in well the opportunity is available it's an area that i don't personally buy I've, i don't have any properties there not to say that's a bad thing no it's just that it's an area that i don't buy however i looked at the stats for this area it's a fairly good area uh, people pay good rent 80 to 85 percent of people pay rent in this area nationally we are slightly below that so it's a good area it's performing very well uh, so that's good now on the other side how much can you buy this property for well the asking price on this one uh, actually the owner is in big big trouble they're like in big trouble um uh, but you know it doesn't really matter whether the owner is in big trouble or not i have secured the deal for you for just below 2.5 million right for just below 2.5 million your 2.5 million you're going to need an additional 
500,000 to kit the property up so that you can be able to rent it out. If you are to follow my strategy, the ones that I have done due diligence, so obviously you're coming in, you're buying it, and you're saying, TJ, let me have the due diligence that your guys have been working on. So the pre-work, I can pass that on to you, and you can make nothing less of 60 grand on this property, the way that we have just calculated everything else. And for that reason, my good friends, if you are to do an investment of roundabout, um, a, if it was a cash deal, Round about 3 million rand phase one. You are going to be banking 60 grand on this property. It's a good deal. It really is. Um, so if you are interested in this deal, let me know. Uh, in the comments, we do pin uh, or in the description. There is a link there that says meet the TJ tribe. Uh, and basically within meet the TJ tribe, it's a form where you can be able to populate your name. And after your name, uh, you can put in all the other details that we're asking for. Or preferably, you can reach us on our WhatsApp hotline, plus 277-78-422-6647. And uh, my good friends, this is the deal of the week. Wednesday deal day. It is. I'm hoping that, um, again, I've lived up to good deals. And if this is exciting to you, and you are good for the money, right? You know what to do. Reach out to me. And until we see each other again, my good friends, where are we going to see each other? On the next deal. And if this was your first time of coming through here, I want to remind you, on Mondays, we've got videos that come out here. Uh, and basically on Mondays, we're just educating you on various things around building your business in real estate. And Wednesday, like this one at the top of the hour, Wednesday deal day, is a Wednesday deal day. It's a deal day on a Wednesday, right? And on a Saturdays, we aim to always showcase some entrepreneurs in and around Mzanzi uh, that they are the, who are doing great in their own right, in the spaces that they are. And we can learn from them because learning is one of our pillars here at the TJ Tribe. Until we see each other again on the next video right here on the TJ Tribe. Boom, boom!